I just hold here for recording. And then when I call you, then you say, hold on. Can you stay behind it, there you go. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabi ajma'in. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala alihi Muhammad wa barik wa salli. We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is the most kind, the most merciful, our creator, our Lord and our sustainer. And we send salawat after our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah ta'ala bless our Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam, bless his family, his companions and everybody who is following the deen, the religion that our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have sent to us here in this earth to live and worship Allah Jalla Jalla. Our Prophet Muhammad Ali Salatu Salam have taught us step by step every act that we have to do in our life. From the birth till the death, every step the Prophet Ali Salatu Salam have, ex have explained to us that what we should do. We are the people that Allah Jalla Jalla has created us and has brought us in this life to test us, to go through challenges, and to win the pleasure of Allah Jalla Jalla. So every act that we do in this dunya, in this life, we try to make pleased, happy Allah Jalla Jalla. If Allah Jalla, our Lord, our Creator is pleased, then that action will become blessed, will become rewarded for us. One of the step and action of our life is also marriage. The Prophet Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam have taught us that marriage must be performed through a ceremony, ritual, that we call it Nikah. Nikah ceremony and ritual is very simple. For all the Muslims around the world for 1,400 years have been done in this way and we are still continue to follow the tradition of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So the important of fulfilling the ritual of Nikah is the bride and the groom accept one another, they love one another, they want to start their family together, so their kabul, their acceptance is number one important. Number two is the parents, they agree for the marriage for their Nikah and they give their blessings and their prayers for them. Number Three is minimum two witnesses will be present uh, during the ritual of Nikah. That's minimum. But all of us here are also witness for this Nikah. And the fourth is that after Nikah, any time can be given before, can be given after. One gift that the groom will give to the bride as a gift for thank you for coming to my life and being my wife. When these four rules are fulfilled, then the scholar or imam, the local imam, comes. He performs a khutbah, a speech of nikah. He advises the bride and the groom together. And then he asks them, do you accept one another? Ask, ask the parents and the witnesses. And at the end, we make a prayer, a dua. We ask Allah to bless the new couple and to always give them give them goodness in this life and also in the next life. So this is all the ceremony of Nikah. Most important is that after Nikah they are husband and wife. So you look after one another, help one another, support together and build your family stronger and better every day. When you have good understanding together, Allah Jalla Jalalu increases the blessings, the goodness for your life in this life and also in the next life. And we also are being here as a witness to pray that may Allah Ta'ala make your nikah a reason or the guidance of all mankind for bringing goodness for all mankind, inshallah. Amen. Our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam always advised that the khair, the goodness, good things start inside the family. When it's good in the family, it will be good outside the family also. That's why he said that the best man amongst you is the one who has the best character. And the best character you show inside your family, with your wife, with your parents, with your kids. 
And then Prophet said, I am the best example for you to follow because I treat my wife, my family, my kids, everyone in my family very well. So we follow the Prophet Muhammad And same thing for the wife to treat her husband, her family and respect. It's all together. Marriage is not a competition, but is all understanding, cooperating together, working together. That's how it is. So we advise the bride and the groom that any challenge of this life, of this dunya, they always uh, will focus and will see what Allah tells us to do and what the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, has advised us to do. If we will follow that, we will never go wrong. And also ask the advice of your parents, of your elders, and follow them, inshallah. So now I will uh, read the khutbah of Nikah in Arabic. We'll uh, translate in English, and then we'll ask first the permission of the parents, the fathers, and then we'll ask the witnesses, and then we will ask, I will ask the bride and the groom, and then we will make the dua, inshallah. Khutbah of Nikah. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, illadhi nabbara kulubana binur al-ahadithi wal-ayat, wa najjana min su'i al-dalalati wal-muhdathat, wa ballaghana aqsa al-ghayat min jami'i al-khayrat, bittiba'i sunnati nabiyyihi afdali al-kainat, alladhi ismuhu maktubun fi al-injili wal-tawrat, nasikhu al-milali wal-adyan, qatilu al-mushikin bis-sayfi wal-sina. ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله ونشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد قال الله تبارك وتعالى في القرآن العظيم بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا صدق الله العظيم قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم النكاح من سنتي فمن رغب عن سنتي فليس مني أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام in the name of Allah, most glorious, most merciful, Nikah, the marriage according to Islamic rules, Allah Ta'ala said in the Holy Quran, Surah An-Nisa, Surah number 4, chapter number 4, and verse number 1. O mankind, be dutiful to your Lord, who created you from a single person, Adam, and from him he created his wife, Hawa, and from them both he created many men and women, and fear Allah, through whom you demand your mutual rights, do not cut the relations of the wombs, kinship. Surely Allah is ever and all watcher over you. Our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, Nikah, to marry according to Islamic rules, is from my tradition, my sunnah. And who is not performing the nikah, he is not from my followers. In the name of Allah today, on Saturday, 12 of 6, 2021, I have his my nazir, Imam of Albanian Saki Islamic Society of Dandenong, perform the nikah of Mr. Liam Joseph Dava, the son of Nevzad Dava, with Ms. Hana Merdam, the daughter of Nuzhet Merdam, with witnesses Luka Dava, Aina Merdam, and Naza Agovic, with a Dori Meher, according to Sharia of Islam, the ring of Nikah. First, we ask the permission of the father of the groom, Mr. Nevzad Dava, do you give us permission that your son to do his nikah with Miss Hana Merdam? Yes, I mean. Now we ask the permission of the father of the bride, Mr. Nuzhed Merdam. In, you also give us permission that your daughter to do her nikah with, with Mr. Liam Joseph Dawa? Yes, sir. Now we have the permission of the both fathers. The mothers also give us permission for the nikah? Yes. yes? MashaAllah, very good. Alhamdulillah. So we have the permission of the parents, we have their blessings, we have their prayers, and this is a very proud day for the parents. This is the goal of every parent, to raise their kids and to make them to get married with a perfect, uh, with a love and nikah. So this is a great thing for the parents. Now we ask the witnesses. 
Mr. Luca Dava, do you also give us permission to be witness for this nikah? Yes. And uh, Aina and uh, Naza also agree to be witness for this nikah? Yes. yes. So we have the witnesses, we have uh, the grandfather here also the witness, and we all are witnesses. And, witness. and, <laughs> and grandfather also children. give us permission? Yes. And the grandmothers? Yes. <laughs> so we have the grandmothers, the grandfathers, everybody's permission. Now, we ask the groom and the bride. First, we ask the groom. Mr. Liam Joseph Dava, you as the son of Nevzar Dava, in the name of Allah, by following the tradition, Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the daughter of Nuzhat Merdan, do you accept Miss Hannah Merdan to be your wife? So Liam have accepted and have made Kabul Hana as his wife. Now we ask the bride, Miss Hana Merdan, you as the daughter of Mr. Nuzhat Merdan, in the name of Allah, by following the Sunnah of Prophet وسلم, the son of Nevzad Dava, Mr. Liam Joseph Dava, do you accept him as your husband? Now we have that the bride also accepted. So from today, Liam and Hana together are husband and wife. Congratulations. We will make a dua, and this is uh, requesting Allah Jalla Jalalu to be happy with us with this ceremony and to bless this new couple. Amin. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, wa laqibatu lil muttaqeen, wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafi l-anbiya'i wa al-mursaleen, Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabi ajma'in. Allahumma rabbana taqabbal minna hadihi al-nikah. كما تقبلت من عبادك الصالحين إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم O oh Allah, accept this nikah that we have performed today O oh Allah, give to this new couple iman, faith Give them amal, good deeds O oh Allah, give them love, care, respect for one another Unite their hearts together as one O oh Allah, take care of them and guide them always to the right path O oh Allah, give them all goodness, khair of this life and the next life. Protect them from every bad thing, shar of this life and also in the next life. Bless them, Ya Rahman Rahimin, and make every step of their life together successful, Ya Allah. Wa anta al musta'an wa alayka al balag wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah ila li lazim. Wa sallallahu ala nabi al kareem wa ala ali wa ashabi ajma'in illahi al fatiha. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إذن الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين اللهم صل على Congratulations, congratulations, alhamdulillah. So now all the signatures and we are done. We start with the groom first. So signature here.